Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play God of War HD on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we continued on through the Desert of the Lost Souls, kinda. Well, at least part of it, at least. And we eventually made our way into the Temple of Pandora, where we are looking for Pandora's box to have the power to slay a god. We're gonna have lots of puzzles, lots of enemies, lots of treasure chests, all sorts of good stuff in here. So, let's get to it. We are currently in the Rings of Pandora. And, yeah, we're going to be seeing this, these particular areas a decent amount. The door seems to be locked. There's a skull-shaped hollow in the door. Okay. And what do we got over here? A whole bunch of death. But we can get through here easy enough. Matter of fact, I think this is where we're supposed to go right now. So let me make sure there's nothing else we can do here. We might not be able to do anything else in here at the moment. I don't think those will kill you right away. Right now, they'll just do a fat chunk of damage, and I don't think we can get up there yet. Yeah, over there, that thing up there, we're not going to be able to get up there just yet. Eventually, though, just not right now. By the way, the odds of me getting stuck on some of these puzzles and lost in this place, pretty decent. So, just a fair warning. We're going to be here for a pretty decent chunk of time, probably. Are we actually finding anything here? Not that I'm seeing, actually. I thought there was at least one more room we could enter right now, but maybe it's just... Okay, we made a whole circle and this is the only place we can enter, so... Fair enough. Yeah, let's not get stuck like those guys right there. Can you imagine if they made it in here and they just died straight to these? I mean, that's just really sucks for him, but whatever. Somebody is shooting at me, I think. Who is here? What are we, oh, it's just, it's just arrows. Okay. I thought it was like a magic attack that was shooting at me, but no, it's just these idiots. Orbs. Awesome. Can I just, like, grab you guys and kill you? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Feel free to not respawn. And you guys are over here. There's my mana that I need. Thank you. Okay, kill you guys. And I think that should be it for enemies around here. I think we're just going to have to, like, go down that pool of water. I think, let's see, can we do anything with this right now? It did open, so that's great. So let's go ahead and pull this and see what happens. Actually, what is in the water then, if, if this is just actually going to be what I think it is? Uh, this is... Oh, we're going to have to move those in order to move the statue for something later. What is in the water here? Anything? Okay, looks like we can't do anything in the water yet. Eventually, we'll go down in that hole right there, but I, I thought it was going to be right now, but I guess not. And at least the spikes have stopped temporarily. Let me see. One, possibly... No, looks like there's one over on that side. Two... Three, four, five, six. So at least eight people got killed just in this one little this one little room right here, so sucks for them. Okay, so this is still that uh, pole shaped temple right there. Let's go ahead and move this. Because I think this is the only way we're gonna get forward anymore. Because yeah, we're rotating the rings of Pandora here in order to find areas that we can get to. Yeah, get used to doing this. We'll come back to that uh, contraption later. But for now, even if we did use the levers over there by it, we wouldn't get anything done. So, whatever. Anyways, let's see what's in door number one here. Carvings of the Muses, Daughters of Lord Zeus. They are made from solid gold. Two of the carvings are missing. 
Okay, yeah, so we're going to have collectibles of the muses. And when we put them in this door right here, we're going to get a pretty nice little reward. So there's going to be two of them here to find. And I think they have multiple locations in case you miss one. But after a certain point, they're going to be missable. So we're going to try to get them as early as possible. And that'll be great. Alright, where is our next doorway? There you go. What is this? Artemis. Kratos, the gods demand more of you. You have learned to use the Blades of Chaos well, but they alone will not carry you to the end of your task. I offer you the very blade I used to slay a titan. Take this gift, and use it to complete your quest. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. And we get the Blade of Artemis. Nice. Select Blade of Artemis on off by holding L1 and R1. Go with the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Alright, so we press L1 and R1, and we get ourselves a giant-ass blade here, which has a square attack right here, a triangle attack right there, a circle attack, and then we can still jump, obviously. I don't think it seems, it doesn't seem to have as many aerial options, but whatever. And then I think it also has its own, like, L1 hold down the button move. So here's L1 and square. Yeah, very nice. Here's L1 and triangle. Eh, not as not as good, but whatever. L1 and X. And L1 and circle, giant pound attack. It's a reasonably decent weapon, but a lot of people just end up preferring Blades of Chaos, and myself included. And when you upgrade it, the only thing that happens is it just gets stronger. It is pretty powerful, but I'm pretty sure level 5 Blades of Chaos end up being stronger anyways. 3750 to unlock, or power up. And yeah, just blade power increase. We'll worry about doing that later, but for now, let's just go ahead and continue on here. You know, let's go ahead and save. I haven't saved for a minute here. Okay. Uh, how you guys doing here? Let's go ahead and try our spiffy new blade against these guys. Okay, three attacks with the triangle attack. Not doing too bad here. Let's see. Keep up the triangle for the launch there. Let's just clobber this guy with the... L1 and circle here. Yeah, it's not the it's not as fast as the Blades of Chaos, unfortunately, but as you can see, it is pretty powerful. And it's working out pretty nice, actually. I think for certain enemies, if you do the the circle command for like finishing them off, I think it'll just auto-switch back to the Blades of Chaos in order to finish it, so. Thanks for just crushing me there, Medusa. I didn't even... I, I didn't even realize she was still trying to kill me there. I thought she had given up. But, uh, yeah, with the... Uh, apparently we have an R1 attack, too, so there we go. And we don't have the, the dash attack that I never use anyways, or the... the rolling attack right there. So, oh well. I'm gonna grab faster. And also, of course, the range on the Artemis Blade. Not quite as long as Blades of Chaos, but it still gets the job done as we're seeing here. It's, it's fun for a, a mix up every once in a while, but for the most part, yeah, I end up just sticking with the Blades of Chaos for whatever reason. It does tear through some of these dudes. Nice and quick like that. I don't think we have a grab attack with it either yet. 
because the circle attack, is, instead of being a grab attack now, is just that right there. Ooh, that does, that circle attack actually does plenty of damage. Where's Medusa? I thought she was coming out. Yeah, because the combos aren't terribly fast, they're pretty easy to interrupt, so that's unfortunate, but whatever. Let's not... Stop it. Yeah, let's try to not get killed there. I wasn't actually trying to go for a round two there, but whatever. Yeah, let's see, see if we try to yeah grab these, gra grab these, then you see that we're back to the uh, blades of chaos there. But whatever, it's not a huge deal. Let's not get killed by you guys, thanks. And good night. And you too, please. Yeah, you can see when I tried to grab her, it started to do the attack before it actually bothered with the grabbing there. We got most of our mana back, I do believe. Yeah, not all of it, but a pretty good chunk. Anyway, let's go back to Blades of Chaos for Destructo Mode because, well, it's just faster and we get more range out of it too, so why not? It's nice that they're placing health in these pots instead of just orbs. That makes our life a little easier here. Anything else over here? this. Yeah, let's grab the health there. Oh, that's right. I forgot there was a area over here. Yeah, it's a sneaky little area, but whatever. Uh, how you guys doing? I kind of forgot you guys existed. Uh, let's go ahead with not getting clobbered by you idiots. Goodbye. What else we got? That... That's just mana right there, right? Yeah, okay. That's not a combo chest, so we'll come back for that later. So we'll be free to use Medusa's Gaze to get rid of these idiots. And actually, you know, we're going to go ahead and use Zeus's Lightning to get rid of these idiots. Because, why not? Can I dodge past you? No? It's not working out there. Oh well. I'm trying. I cannot dodge past you just in general. I think these guys right here with the golden armor, they're tougher than the average undead dudes. There we go. And let's go for... Killing you idiots. Goodbye. I don't know if we're going to actually get all those orbs. Yeah, we're going to miss like a couple of them. Oh well. Let's try to stay up here. Stay up. There you go. Perfect. Alright, and over here is orbs. Very nice. And are you breakable? Does not look like it. Okay, cool. Anything else around here? Actually, I think we actually had to come up here now that I'm thinking about it because we have to pull this thing. Yay. You think it's optional? It's not. So if you don't see that broken... That broken ladder or whatever, then you might be stuck in this room for a while. Okay, so that's the way down. I do want to go over here, though. 
grab our mana. Since Zeus's rage actually does use a fair amount more than I, I think it does. Like it has a pretty decent mana cost for the attacks that it does, but it also uses more mana than you than you're expecting, kind of. And there is another one of you. Goodbye. We're gonna need this for something, I do believe. So let's just get it out there, I guess. There you go. Put it right there. What's over here? That's going to be something we come back to momentarily. I got stuck on the ledge right there. That's great. Oh, no, this is, this is going to be in that room over there. Never mind. Yeah, we, we don't use this out here. We use it over there. And okay, let's see what happens if we go onto this rope, if we can. I know we can. I'm just messing up, I guess. I guess in order to actually use the rope, you have to be over here. Fair enough. I almost missed some red orbs. I feel bad. If I miss the red orbs, they don't have an awesome home with me. And apparently there's something on the other side of that, so... Okay, cool. Is there anything back over this way? No. Okay. Just had to check. You might be able to jump over to the rope from here, but let's see. Okay, cool. I was going to say I'm not going to try it, because I'd have to climb back up just in case. Or in case I missed or whatever. But no, it seems like it works. And Kratos, you're going to get some massive rug burn on your hands here. Ah, this part. If I remember correctly, you have to do this. We're going to have to come back for it later. And yeah, we see these guys locked in battle for pretty much eternity for whatever reason. You fuck. I, I don't know if we're getting too many orbs at us, but I guess we're getting some. Okay, try to kill this guy before the other dude gets opportunistic. Get off. You fuck. Ah, I'm not a big fan of this area. This area sucks, as you can see. There you go. Let's just try to bleed him to death if it works. Walker, stop interrupting my combo, please. That'd be great, thanks. Get off, dude. Not a huge fan of these tightrope sections, but eh, whatever. You gotta deal with them, I guess. Fuck off, dude. Here, let me, let me get off here. There you go. Deal with these guys on solid ground. There you go, that works out better. Ah, got him. And... Yeah, I might as well just grab these right now. I'll come back from the, ma the magic glue later. Because I think we're going to come back in here at some point. Let's grab this. A silver shield rests on the altar. There is a picture of Hades carved into it. Will you pick it up? Yes. You have acquired Shield of Hades, which is a key item. Not a regular item, just so you know. And I do believe that makes... Yeah, that thing come after us. So, yeah. Not really great for us, but we'll have to deal with it, I guess. And now we got to fight our way past all these idiots. I think after we kill all these guys, the... The, uh... Door right here will open back up, so that'll be nice. Ooh, that was a nice little combo getting all those guys. Come on, try to get one on one. There you go. That's actually a pretty decent combo for dealing with these idiots. I would like to have more mana to, you know, spell these guys out, but whatever. We'll just have to survive this way, I guess. And we can't grab that guy right now since his health is too low. I wasn't actually trying to grab him, but that just happened, I guess. Jump 
Hey, hey, get off. Yeah, we are very close to not making it here, but we'll see. I don't think if you come here before you grab the shield, they're going to be here. You have to deal with them now, no matter what. So, you can't, like, try to make this any easier. But, you have a decent amount of time to take care of it, as long as you don't fuck up too much, which I almost did. Alright, grab our mana back. I think we have more chests outside of the, the door anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we got magic and... Pick your own adventure there. Awesome. And I think this just goes back towards, yeah, the the entrance here. So if you wanted to re, re go through the thing right here, you probably could, but why bother? But you can just do this. So yeah. Let's see how we're on time. We're doing okay. Awesome. But yeah. Unfortunately, this is not a detour. You actually had to come down here for the Shield of Hades. So, if you don't like the tightrope fighting, well, tough. You have to deal with it. There you go. Let's get out of here. And let's put you back where we need you. Which is eventually going to be on this side. I'm kind of curious what's in there, but it's... Looks like just like rocks or something, so it's gonna be used to weight down a switch, probably. Okay, I'm trying to not use too many air combos against these guys, just in case they shatter me by getting me in the air, because that'd be really no bueno. They're not very big on taking advantage of when they actually stone you. So, you think you think that being stoned against these guys would be a huge problem, but it's usually only when they have other adventurers with them, because that will cause you to get hit by those guys, and that's what you're going to die with. There you go. Got you guys. And you guys are still here. You know, you really suck, dude. You're not really, really dangerous, you're just irritating. Okay, nothing over there. Nothing over there. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we put this on the pedestal. Okay, so that opens up. Ah, that's right. So what you gotta do with this one is you gotta stand over there and you gotta kick this onto the the platform here in order to get sucked through the door. Okay, let's see. Can we do anything with this? We place the shield into the carving. Yes. And it looks like we need one more. Let's see. An image is carved into the door. Two Greek soldiers are battling over Pandora's box. One of the shields is missing. Okay, so we gotta go find the other shield real fast, which involves going through this door over here. Yeah, so they try to trick you with a lot of these puzzles here, as we can see. Uh, can I even bring this up here? No, I guess not. Okay, so what we gotta do is kick it from here, and then immediately try to jump over there, but, you know, good luck. I know you can do this, it's just you gotta have reasonably decent timing. Son of a bitch. I thought you could, you know, get it up the stairs, but I guess I was mistaken. There you go. Roll back into it, not try to jump like I was doing. And there we go, make our way through and deal with these idiots again. Even though I'd rather really not, nah, but whatever. As long as we don't have Medusas and these guys, we're doing reasonably okay.
Yeah. Nice combo there. Come here, you rat bastards. I see you guys over there. I want to see if I can't lift you guys up again, because that actually worked out really good in that little area er earlier. So if I can actually, you know... There you go. We kind of need the help, but we kind of don't have the time to actually stop and grab it. So, kind of just you to get rid of these guys. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, they're actually doing a pretty decent chunk of damage here, so... Yeah, not really doing great for us. I don't think there's any real way to upgrade your defense in the game. Yeah, all your offensive spells get upgraded, but you don't have any way to upgrade your defenses or your... your block, really. Like, you have the evade move right there, which is nice, and you can go ahead and, like, dash into them like that, but again, you can't just like upgrade your your ability to take less damage, so whatever. But charging in the charging in them like this seems to work out pretty good. I like it. There we go. Not the best way to kill him, but it works. It kind of stun locks him a little bit, so works reasonably well. That's mana, we don't need that. We do need this though. And these will be helpful for eventually here. Got plenty of health. And what are we... What are we supposed to be doing in here? Who knows? Let's go ahead and... Figure it out. Pretty sure you're supposed to... Well, we're kind of stuck in here, so I'm not sure... Ah, ladder. There you go. Camouflaged. So I didn't see it. Is there anything over here to jump to? I guess not. Well, let's just check anyways on this side. No? Okay. Just had to check. Stop trying to move the camera, damn it. Okay, we can see what's over here. Orbs. Awesome. And I fucked up. Okay. So, that's your incentive to not screw up uh, the rafters there. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense that the empty room is on the other side of the room that you were in. So, yeah, let's try not to fudge up too much here. Because that'd be great. And we can see the shield that we need to grab, but... We want other treasures first, so let's grab those. Can I make it back on the rafters? I cannot. Okay. I tried. I failed. We're all used to that by now. I don't think there's actually too much more on the rafters either, so mainly just those couple chests and possibly one or two more. Unfortunately, you can't move the camera around to look, so we're going to actually have to check again here. Okay, here's our, our shield. A gold shield rests on the altar. There is a picture of Zeus carved into it. Will you pick it up? Yes. Uh, please, don't smite please don't smite me, Zeus, because that'd be great. Thanks. Anything in this little alcove right here. Like, it could be like a breakable wall or something. Probably not, but, you know, it never hurts to check. Okay, I had to check. Okay, so we're done over here. We don't need to, we don't need to grab anything else. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what's beyond this door of shields. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.